Today we stand in footsteps millennia old. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Wadi Wadi people, and pay our respects to the elders both past, present and future, for they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture and hopes of all Australia. We honour the presence of these ancestors who reside in the imagination of this land and whose irrepressible spirituality flows through all creation. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were the first explorers of this land and made the first maps. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were the first sailors of this land and navigated the rivers and lakes. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were the first builders and engineers of this land. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people crisscrossed the country and were the first explorers of this land. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were the first gardeners and farmers of this land. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were the first artists and musicians of this land. Ab Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were the first to sustainably provide for their future in this land. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were the first to stand upon and make the first footprints on this land. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are culturally, culturally and spiritually connected to this land, always was and always will be. Loving and great in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving and gracious God, who created this land of, this great land of Australia, we thank you for the indigenous people who have lived on this land for thousands of years. We celebrate their love and care for and connectedness to this land and we pray that we listen to their voices as they share their history, culture, knowledge and understanding of this country with us. May we have open hearts, minds and spirits. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Holy Spirit. Year three researched a variety of Aboriginal inventions. We learned that Aboriginal people use lands use the land's natural resources to live in a sustainable way. Aboriginal people invented many tools to help with hunting, building, and general living. We would like to share some of our informative posters that we created. So tell them what you researched. Um, so, so we researched the, the didgeridoo, didgeridoo yep, so and three points from the didgeridoo. So we'll tell you some facts. So first um, fact. The Aboriginals have been playing the didgeridoo for over 40,000 years. The didgeridoo is very hollow. Um, the didgeridoo is the, thought to be the oldest wind instrument. Perfect boys, thank you. James, come up. What did you research? So I researched um, stone Sorry, natural and natural glass tools with Oscar, but he's not here. So these are some of the facts that we did. Um, have, these Aboriginal tools are used for building civilization. These um, Aboriginal um, Aboriginals use these tools and weapons to defend themselves. They make all the tools by hand. Perfect, well done. And then uh, to introduce your invention. So we um, have been research researching about plastic farming. 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 Here are some dot points. So um, they knew how to aim the fire in a specific area to clear bushland. Fire stick farming flushed out animals that could be killed for food. Aboriginals say it is necessary to have fire stick farming to prevent more serious fires in Australia. Awesome. Have a seat. And you guys hold your post up. So we'll just show you the rest of the posts they put together. We haven't probably got time to share more, but that's all the hard work, if you can see that. 
in the background. So they worked very hard on those um, 10 inventions. So that's, that's year three for us. So thank you. Milk Week is a special time to recognise our first Australians who always was, always will be a part of our lives. Ready, Jasper. Born in Ada Week Year Two, listen to a story called Brother Moon. We loved listening to Brother Moon, and it taught us about connect to country and how significant this is for Aboriginal people. We also listen to some stories told by Aboriginal and Taurus Strait Islanders and heard about the special places in their lives and why they are important and significant. This led us into joining our own special places and sharing reasons as to why we feel connected to, the, to these and how they make us feel. We then were able to colour in Aboriginal, Abri, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artworks, do a finder word and make bookmarks, which we really enjoyed. Here are some of our artworks. One of your artworks. Uh, made of packed wheel. That was an Aboriginal uh, flag themed circle where it had little boxes that we, uh, that we filled in with words and images describing what we had learned about NADOC week. First, uh, I wrote here for over 65,000 years, I drew a little timeline. Then they are connected to the land and I drew the, drew the uh, Three Sisters Lookout in Katoomba. Then uh, the Care for Country where I drew, I drew a little uh, sprouting, sprouting new plant. Then there were the first people and I drew a map of Australia when it was a long time ago when uh, there was less water, so there was a land bridge to Australia. And that NAIDOC week lasts a week, so I drew a little calendar. And it was actually created by some protesters on Australia Day about, well, why are we celebrating Australia Day if the Aboriginals were the first people? That's what they thought. And they knew that. So that's how Native Week was started, and I drew a little another timeline. Always was, always will be, and I wrote that there's an, an artwork accompanying it. Do a little. I tried to draw it. <laughs> Not as good. Artwork's really good. I bet you have tyrants. Hi. Um. So I wrote Native Week celebrates um Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. They choose a poster to celebrate. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders were the first artists and everything else. This year, their theme would, is always will be. Um, it will always be their land, the stolen generation. Doesn't matter what skin color you have, treat people equally. Right. And lastly, we have Bella. Um, so I did people get like art artworks and like on oh no, it people get awards for artworks and other things um for nato week and this is a picture of elder gator chris and um aboriginals have been inhabiting australia for over sixty thousand years and um australia's um, aboriginals were our first um farmers um, astronomers and explorers. And Australia's winning poster is called Shape of Land by Tyran. Um, um, NADOC week is so that we can remember the true history of Australia. And Australia's, oh, 
NAIDOC stands for National Aborigines and Islanders Observance Committee. Indigenous Australians track the stars to predict the changing seasons and link them to the important natural events on this on Earth. For example, the coldest nights of this of the year. We discovered that Aboriginal astronomy is still being used today to guide relationships between people and nature. Indigenous Australians use the stars for navigation, ceremony and cultural traditions that continue still today. We discovered that in June to July, the clusters of stars show an emu moving in a horizontal position. This is their nesting season. Emu eggs are available for collection and become an important food source during winter for Indigenous Australians. In August, the emu in the sky leaves the nest. It's a signal that it's too late for Aboriginal people to collect eggs as they begin to hatch. We discovered there are 150 Indigenous languages in daily use today in Australia, and there are hundreds of Indigenous stories and knowledge systems connected to the night sky. There is a language in the stars. In in kindergarten, we have been learning about NAIDOC Week. NAIDOC Week is celebra celebrated. NAIDOC Week is a celebration. Celebration held every year. This is when we celebrate the culture, history, and achievements of ad Aboriginal and Torres Strait, Strait Island people. The, ab the Aboriginal culture should be celebrated and respected. and respected. It also should show that Australia. Australian from all cultures. cultures can live together in peace and celebrate our wonderful country. In, in class, we have looked at PowerPoints on NADOC. We, we have also started looking at some of the Dreamtime stories like <coughs> the Rainbow Serpent. This week, we have looked at wonderful Aboriginal artwork in class. In kindergarten, we have made NADOC week posted that we would like to share with you. Okay, stand up kindergarten. Stand up and share your lovely posters. Make sure you can see it on the screen at the top. Go right down. Okay, come up the back here. Hold it up. Hold it up, Kella. And just the last two posters. Let me through Everett.
chose browns, yellows and reds to show the colour of the land. Dark blue and light blue was to colour the sky and waters. Year one worked together to create this mural just like the first Australians worked together to preserve this land. One of her quotes was, I also hope there'll be a great deal of listening. You have much to learn from each other. We are all here now and we have to solve our differences and live together as Australians. I will use the title you have on me to bring the Australian people together. Together we can build a remarkable and envy the rest of the world. She dedicated her life to be a nurse and became a charged nurse. What she dedicated her life to. Her life was always focused on becoming the first Aboriginal nurse and to have the same rights as the Europeans. Her life. She was taken from her parents when she was just two. She got rejected from the hospital because she was Aboriginal and her career spans over 60 years and all started by being the first woman Aboriginal nurse. All her awards. She got awards like Advance Australia Fair, National Living Treasure, Companion of the Order, and became a full-time chairperson of the Aboriginal Conference. Why she was famous. She was one of the strongest Aboriginal women ever because she stood up for what was right. Aboriginals having the same right as everyone else. She was born August 1st, 1932 in Dalkana, South Australia, and was taken away from her Aboriginal mum and Irish dad when she was just two. Also an amazing story was once she was at the supermarket and noticed her auntie and uncle who she had not seen for 30 years. She went, Louita Donahue went to work with Mother Teresa in India in 1961 to 1970. She joined the Department of Aboriginal Affairs. She was free. Moita O'Donoghue was renamed Lois by the English. She was named Australian of the Year in 1982. She was a part of the Eddie Mabo case on Aboriginal land rights. Moita was a very inspirational Aboriginal inspirational Aboriginal. Hopefully you learnt something. This week we learnt how Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people listen and look after their country. We learnt about traditional Indigenous cultural burns for bushfire management. We are learning about this because the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders have been here for over six, 65,000 years. Some key things we learnt were that fire is a tool for Aboriginal people. It's a practical way of burning and is more efficient than conventional burning. Indigenous fires burn cool, light and patchy so the native animal, animals can escape freely. 